the Heavenly Father placed a powerful word in my spirit that I feel led to share with y'all. And I'm going to start this video off with two examples. Example number one. When you're playing a video game, they start you off at a low level. So you got to continue to play in order to level up your character so that you may be able to deal with the villains that comes on each level. But if you're not at a certain level, sometimes the new level won't even unlock until you continue to work and build up your character. And sometimes you might step into a zone where the villains are more powerful than you. So it becomes even more challenging to win. Example number two, when you first start at a job, you go into a new job and you hope to become a manager, but they start you off as a dishwasher. In order to become the manager, you got to put in that work. And you got to put in that time. But if you never put in that work, not only will it be harder to become the manager, but that position may not even ever become available to you. The point I'm trying to make is sometimes it's a lot of stuff we don't have access to because we didn't put in the work to gain access to it. That's why the words say faith without works is dead. If you hope to gain the abundance of God, we got to study. We got to fast. We got to pray without ceasing. Those are works. And this won't get you into heaven. But the more you put in time to build your relationship with the Heavenly Father, it will change your character of who you are. See, the works is what empowers the faith. Because that's our dedication to having a better relationship with the Heavenly Father. See, there's things that we must do in the spirit. We must seek after the heavenly father and all his righteousness. That's works. See, the works ain't about getting you into heaven. It's about building you as a person. But if you never put in that work, that's how the devil gained more power than you. To cause torment in your life. But the more you seek after. The spiritual things. Of the heavenly father. That's how we gain power over the enemy. See. One of the most. Powerful things that I learned from the heavenly father. Is this. What can he trust you with? See, the Heavenly Father got to be able to trust you with what you can't see at the moment. You might be doing a lot of stuff in the spirit and you might be thinking to yourself, I can't see nothing happening or I can't see things changing in my life. But see, that's what faith is. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. You might can't see it at the moment. But if you continue to build your relationship with the Heavenly Father by having faith in Lord Jesus. And trust in his plan for your life. Eventually doors will open up. See, God is trying to take all of us to a new level. That was the purpose of Lord Jesus when he went up there on the cross. He overcame the enemies that we face today. So by his power, we can overcome the same enemies and we can overcome the world. I preach this to myself every day and I have fell short of the glory of God many times. But it's one thing I understand about faith. If I continue to get up, and keep going 
and trust that the Heavenly Father will make a way for me. He always show up. The Heavenly Father never let me down. And I'm here to tell you that if you're in a dark place right now, and you cry out to the Heavenly Father. He hear the cries of his people in the wilderness. He will make a way. See, all the Heavenly Father is trying to do in our life is help us step out of that darkness into the light of Lord Jesus. But the enemy don't want you to understand that power that we have, that authority that we have over him the moment we call upon the name Lord Jesus. See, that's what he fears. He feared the fact that you might find your true identity that's what he's afraid of. When you find that true identity, that's where the confidence is. We find new identity in Christ. He didn't just lay his life down for us to be stuck in the past. He laid his life down so that we may have hope in the future. He laid his life down so that we may gain power over the enemy, even in our present moment. So we won't keep looking back. The Heavenly Father don't want us to keep looking back. Just like the lady that turned into a pillar of salt. When the Heavenly Father destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. The Heavenly Father, and I don't even know if I pronounced that word right, but just know this. The Heavenly Father don't want us to keep looking back. Because it's nothing back there. Everything we need is in front of us. Lord Jesus is the light of this world. So that we may see with clear understanding and clear direction on where to go. That's why the words say he's the way, the truth and the life. If we follow his footsteps, it's leading us out of captivity. What more do we need to succeed when we already have all the answers? When you find your true identity in Christ, that's when the devil attacks the most. Because the closer you are to the Heavenly Father, the more power you will have and the more influence you will gain to lead other people out of captivity, out of darkness. See, the reason why the truth of Lord Jesus set us free is because he's showing us how not to live. He's teaching us where sin leads to. And if we stand on that truth, you'll gain discernment so that you may see the schemes of the enemy so that you may be able to spot out a lie when one is being told. The Heavenly Father not trying to control our life. He's trying to empower us through Lord Jesus so that we may have power over the enemy. But like I always say, it's a lot of stuff we can seek after in this world. And you may become successful in some of it but it'll be short lived. And this is what I always say. When you begin to let go of everything you think make you who you are, that's when you start to become who God called you to be. Because doing the will of the Heavenly Father will do more for your life than anything you try to do on your own. The work of God is what empowers our faith. I pray this bless you. In Jesus name. Amen.